Hi there, Renee Asse of Lowell, Massachusetts. I'm going to have a very unpopular opinion about that child welfare case that's going all through the culture war of the conservative media. If you read the local news story, if you read the local news story, this young child, a young adolescent who's experiencing gender dysphoria, is now living with the birth mother in Canada. The birth mother. In Canada, according to Montana's laws, they don't even do anything medically in regards to the medicalization of children under 18. So there are other issues in the home she was the, sorry, that the child was living in in Montana, and the the parents who seem to be the adoptive parents run to so conservative social media, then you get all outraged and angry, and then you are like a mob, not knowing all the facts, because you don't know all the facts, because the child is a minor, and there's limited information. And I see people that have jumped over onto Twitter, jumped over to Twitter, re calling to harass the governor like a mob like a mob and you don't know this child you don't know all the reasons maybe the symptoms gender dysphoria will go away if the child is living with the birth mom in canada but no i read this headline child is taken away from parents and moved to canada because of the gen to gender transition and that's probably not the truth is it and i that's my unpopular opinion and that's the reason why I muted so many people. Because you all look like a bunch of idiots, like a mob. I have two other videos on this. Love you all.